Well, hello there. I just want to make a quick video. I won't keep you for long. I'm uh, not doing too good right now. So needless to say, I'm going to take a break from YouTube, but not for the same reasons. I was stressed out about all this Cooties 19 nonsense, but now, frankly, after what just happened, I don't even care. That all seems like a million miles away. And as far as uh, maybe missing out on my vids, people who like my vids, uh, prayers go out and big shout out to all my subs. A friend of mine was actually just asking me about this Professor Foster video. But anyway, all my videos are backed up on BitChute. You can go watch them all. Uh, my other platforms, whatever. Doesn't matter right now. Uh, I had a death in the family. And I mean, I thought it was bad enough when my dad got killed in 2009, or whatever. Survived the hit, went septic from all the stab wounds, died a few years later. I thought that was bad enough, but on the weekend, uh, my sister died of very suspicious circumstances. Admitted to hospital, fine. Ends up poisoned by something in the hospital. I'm not going to get into it. Causes cardiac arrest. She was dead five hours later. I am uh, doing what I can to hold it together here. If I have to do this video in a million takes, stopping or weeping or whatever, I'm a mess right now. I'm so angry. And I thought, you know, I got to go with Batman on this one. Losing so many loved ones, watching them. Literally watching them die in front of me for no reason at all. And it made me realize that the only way this world makes sense is if you force it to. And so, yeah, this is a big shout out to my sister. I'm so sorry I wasn't there to protect you. I, uh, I'm not handling this very well. Going through Facebook and... The tribute posts, all their friends from high school chiming in. It's been nice to see. I mean, horrible circumstance. Talking to people that knew her back home and whatnot. It's just too much to bear. And then my friends and family, they're all wondering, you know. And we're not really like civilians, as it were. We were connected people, so... So obviously there's people calling me with some questions like some of the people who hurt her in life and these people that may have been involved in this not that they'd ever really hear this video or whatever but they need to know that they belong to me now and if I find out that there was something malicious malevolent involved I pray God steady my hand my sister wouldn't want street justice, but it's it's really hard. I feel like that scene from Pulp Fiction with Jules in the restaurant where he's like... You read the Bible, Ringo? Not regularly, no. Well, there's this passage I got memorized. Ezekiel 25, 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. I've been saying that shit for years. And if you heard it, that meant your ass. I saw some shit this morning made me think twice. See, now I'm thinking, maybe it means you're the evil man and I'm the righteous man. And Mr. Nine Millimeter here, he's the shepherd protecting my righteous ass in the valley of darkness. Or it could mean you're the righteous man and I'm the shepherd. And it's the world that's evil and selfish. Now, I'd like that. But that shit ain't the truth. The truth is... You're the weak. And I'm the tyranny of evil men. But I'm 
I'm trying, Ringo. I'm trying real hard to be the shepherd. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to go be with my family now. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace out.